Hey guys, I'm Aaron, and today we're going to take a look at using intersect face to intersect two pipes in SketchUp for Web. So I can already hear it. I can hear it already. Why not just use solid tools. Solid tools are part of SketchUp Go. I have commands in there. Yes, absolutely. But whether you're using desktop or you are using uh, web-based SketchUp, the fact remains that when you go into intersect geometry like that, uh, things like pipes, which have voids in the middle and excess geometry after they meet, can be a little bit extra work to intersect. And we're going to talk about that right now and in the best way to address it. Uh, let's hop in. All right, so I have a handful of pipes and these pipes are real simple. I got a 24 sided circle offset push pulled that created a pipe. That's what it is. This thing is repeated a couple times, different lengths, but we're gonna look at two different options, right? So here I want to have this pipe and this pipe meet at a 90 degree angle. I know if this were PVC or metal or something, I'd have an elbow there. I know, I know, I know, I know. But I'm playing with the geometry. So what I want is the outside to come up here, meet at this far corner, go back down, and the inside face to follow it. We're gonna do the same thing or something similar down here, but I wanna have this pipe come direct, run into this pipe and join it, perfect T. So we're gonna take a look at how to do that using intersect tools. Now again, I am in SketchUp Go, so I do have availability of the solid tools, but like I said, what's gonna happen if I join this with any of the solid tools, I'm gonna to end up, this geometry that's up here on top, it's gonna to stick around. This geometry over here, gonna stick around. These, this geometry that's inside of the other pipe here and here and here, that's gonna stick around. All of the solid tools, there's no way that I can say this void needs to be cleared out with solid tools. It's just not an option. So uh, it'll always do that. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come in here. What I wanna create is an intersection between the inside of this pipe and the inside of this pipe. pipe and then a separate intersection between the outside of this pipe and the outside of this pipe. So I'm gonna do something real quick. I'm just going to come in here and I'm gonna double click. I'm going to push pull to pull this pipe out a tiny bit. It doesn't matter how far. All I wanna do is I wanna get this face or the, the, this geometry, this edge away from this edge here. Because to do this intersection, I'm gonna to have to explode both these pipes and if there's any any edges touching, they're gonna to join together and potentially cause me problems. By offsetting them just a little bit like this, I assure that this face right here will not join with any of this face. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and delete that little circle on top. I don't need that. And I'm gonna go, same thing over here, push, pull, pull that up just a touch, grab this, delete it. All right, now that I have that, so this is the crazy part, I'm gonna do something crazy. I'm gonna grab both of these and I'm going to explode. And I, you know, some people out there are like, well, didn't that cause that to just join already? No, geometry joins when edges touch edges, when points touch points. Faces can cross through each other with no worry whatsoever. Now that I have this, uh, I'm gonna create some new groups. I'm gonna grab my two outside pipes, my outside faces, make a group out of those. And then I'm gonna grab my two inside faces. Oops, I didn't get that, I just got the edge. There we go and make a group out of those. I'm making them two separate groups because I want to intersect them separately inside and outside. So I could do all of this without having to slide them apart like this, but this is gonna make it a lot easier to see. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come into this group and I'm gonna select these two faces, right click, intersect face with selection, they meet each other. And now if I just come in here and I erase that edge right there, this edge right here. So this happens sometimes. I'm gonna undo real quick. When I have overlapping geometry that meets at a point like this, sometimes it will join together here. Generally speaking, the easiest way to clean it up is to lead an edge like this, and then no problem, I'll just come in with a line real quick, draw that, and I'm good again. Just that simple. Now to clean this up, I do have to erase and I want to get rid of all these extra lines. See how as I'm doing this, can you see that extra geometry on the inside? What's happening is as I'm deleting this outside edge, see if I can get to a point where I can see what's going on the inside whilst deleting on the outside. 
There we go. So as, as I delete this, see that how that inside edge is disappearing? That's disappearing because I'm breaking the face by getting rid of the edges on the outside. Same thing here, as I come around here, I'm getting rid of the plane on the inside there. So I'm, I'm, I'm walking and talking, talking as I walk through this. So it's a lot of extra steps, a lot of extra time because I'm explaining it all. But let's see how quick, let's do the outside without so much explanation. You'll see, this is pretty quick actually. So I'm gonna go ahead and move this right, right back where it was back inside that pipe. And now let's grab this one come in here and same thing. It's the exact same process, right? I'm gonna grab these two, right click, intersect face with selection. I'm going to erase the outside edge, erase the outside edge, let's look around, looks good. And then again, without so much talking, I'm just going to swipe around here and get rid of that. Come over to this side, erase all of this here erase all of this here. And what I end up with is a pipe that goes in and curves down the other side. It's separate groups right now. So the last thing I do have to do is select both of them, right click and explode. And then if I want to, of course, I can come make this into a new group. But there I have an L pipe. Perfect, easy, quick. All right. What if I want to have it intersected a T instead? Again, can't use solid tools because solid tools will honor that this is solid geometry here and it'll leave it. Same thing with this chunk on the outside. So I push pull before to kind of change how this worked. I'm going to do the same thing here. I'm going to come into this group right here. I'm going to push pull and drag that back to the center. Let's snap. Actually, the easiest way is probably to let it snap right up here. Snap to the edge like that. So now that dies out right inside there. I'm gonna take this one step further. I'm gonna rotate like this and I'm gonna zoom in like that and I'm gonna grab this edge. See that edge right there? I'm gonna delete it. I don't have to do that, but by deleting that edge, it's less geometric to worry about cleaning up after the intersection is done. All right now that I've done that, I'm gonna go ahead and grab these two. I'm going to explode them. Then I'm going to take the inside of this face, same thing I did before, inside this face, make it a group, outside, outside, make it a group. And again, just for clarity, I'm gonna go ahead and move this out. You can see that, oh yeah, that looks good. But I can see, see how it's intersecting, all that stuff's on the inside. So again, come in here, select, select, right click, intersect with selection. And all I have to do now is erase that and then select this face right here delete that and there we go so you got that nice that t intersection inside that's going inside there beauty um i can take that move it right back straight back into the face there i line that up right i did and now i'll do the same thing on the outside come into this one whoops let's select the inside again grab the outside grab these two intersect, oops, select, select, right click, intersect faces with selection. And to clean this up, same thing, I'm gonna look on the inside. Because I'm in the group, I'm gonna see the other, some other geometry, but it's real easy to come in here and just erase, erase. And then same thing, I'll have one face on, on the inside there that I gotta get rid of. I'll select and delete that. And with that, we now have a pipe, a T pipe, crosses over itself. And again, I know I already hear, well, you know, again, just a reminder, solid tools won't do this. Solid tools will not, I grab both of those, explode it, and then make it into a new group. Solid tools won't do that because solid tools will honor the extra geometry. So I have to do it as two separate uh, intersections. But like you said, like I said, pretty quick, pretty easy once you actually do it. Isolate, intersect the inside, isolate, intersect the outside, a little bit of cleanup. And you got some nice, nice, nice piper connections. That's not a word. So hopefully that makes sense. If you've ever had to intersect pipes before, it can be, it can be frustrating because they're solids with voids in them. 
and it's really hard for a computer to know okay what's the void i want to keep and honor that it should be empty and what's the void that i want to get rid of so this will work on desktop as well i just thought i'd show it on sketchup for web give a little get a little web love you know show that show that kind of thing uh but uh, yeah hopefully you like that if you did click like down below and if you don't already please do subscribe uh, and leave us a comment. Let us know what you think of that. Have you used that process before? Do you have a different way of doing it that's even better? I'd love to hear it. I like making these videos a lot, even more when they're showing something you want to see. See you next time.